What's going on guys, Billy here, and last week Skydio finally released their dock for truly remote operations. Now if you remember, Skydio initially unveiled their dock about two and a half years ago, and that initial prototype was just a tiny metal box. Since then, they've been making refinements to the hardware and software to develop their final version of the dock, which just looks so Skydio, like it matches the design aesthetic of their drones perfectly. With that said, the functionality of the dock is equally as impressive, and you really don't understand what goes into making this entire system work until you learn the nuances and what goes on behind the scenes. Like this is so much more than just a box that holds a drone. So Skydio actually surprised us with two different versions of the dock. We of course have the standard dock that fully encloses the drone, which is built for outdoor use. This protects the drone from the elements, whether it be hot, cold, rainy, or dusty, the drone is able to sit inside of here and stay charged until it's needed. The big surprise though was the dock light that is basically a small carbon fiber tripod with a landing area mounted on top. This offers all the same functionality as the full scale dock just without the protection from the elements. That makes the dock light perfect for indoor use and comes with the obvious benefit of being more affordable. To better understand how the dock works, there's a polycarbonate door in the front that opens to allow the arm to extend out. The drone sits on the end of this arm, cradled in a small cup-shaped landing area that fits the underslung battery perfectly. Once the arm is fully extended, the door closes behind it so the propellers don't kick up any dust, dirt, or debris into the dock itself. As the drone takes off, it does a 360 spin that calibrates the navigation cameras and then comes to a hover. From here, it will embark on its mission, which can be viewed through Skydio's remote ops software. So you can see exactly what it's doing at every moment from its telemetry to the images that it's capturing to the live feed that it sees while it's buzzing around. Now it is not necessary to monitor every single flight that your drone takes through the remote ops software because remember, this is an entirely autonomous system. So it knows what it needs to do from takeoff to land and everything in between. So that goes for the actual flight as well as charging and maintaining the drone inside of the dock itself. So you can set up a mission, you can tell it when you need it to run that mission and then from there, you're hands off and you just have to analyze the data that the drone captures. Now speaking of landing, this is perhaps my favorite part, seeing the arm extend back out of the dock, the the drone coming back down on its own and then eventually touching down on that small landing cup. This design element is really clever as it allows the drone to perfectly connect to the charging pins each time so that it's charged and ready for the next mission. Speaking of charging, when using the dock or dock light, you'll have to make sure that you're using the new batteries that have charging pins on the bottom. The landing area has another set of pins that make a connection and supply power to the battery. In talking with Skydio's team, they wanted to simplify the charging process so that they could eliminate the need to have any extra moving components on the inside side of the dock leading to less points of failure. For example, some of these docks have really complex mechanisms inside that allow it to change batteries out of the drone, which sure that's great because you have more uptime on the drone itself, but it leads to a potential nightmare of issues down the line as those small delicate arms and pieces break and you need to get them repaired. With the Skydio dock, if you need to run multiple missions or have uptime at all hours of the day with your drones, you could just get multiple docks and have them run in tandem. Now in order to manage multiple drones, if you're in a situation where you need to, Skydio's remote op software gives you the ability to easily view your entire fleet, the status of each drone and dock, and ultimately control each of them manually if necessary. This means that even if you have one of these docks, you can make use of remote ops as right from your web browser, you'll have full control over the drone, just like you would if you were using a remote controller, being there with it in person. So let me give you a scenario. Let's say that you're a project manager on a construction site and you've got your boss or maybe your client messaging you saying, hey, did the iron beams get delivered yet? Sure, you could get up out of your chair and walk over and check to see if the iron beams are there, if they've been delivered, or you can jump onto your computer, open up your remote op software, and fly the Skydio over to that area, take a photo of it, land the drone, that photo then gets uploaded to the cloud, and you can send a picture to your client or to your boss and say, hey, yes, beams are here, they've been delivered. And remember, you can do this from anywhere. You could be in the trailer, you could be in the office, you could be at home, you could be halfway around the world, you could jump onto your laptop, you could open up the software and fly the drone remotely. These dock missions can also be completed indoors, as I've mentioned. So the remote ops missions that we were flying were inside of the dock warehouse from Skydio's headquarters, which is about 20 miles away. You basically just use your keyboard and mouse like you're playing a video game to maneuver the drone around. It's a really fluid and stress-free experience as Skydio's autonomy ensures the drone doesn't crash even in tight spaces. This makes the flight experience feel really unique, but what's also unique is those indoor automated flights where the drone can fly around inside on a pre-planned mission and capture different images around 
around the site while adapting to the environment. As you can imagine, the inside of a warehouse or construction site is always changing, but the Skydio is smart enough to make decisions on its own and alter its flight path for safe operation. For these repeatable flights, Skydio uses their visual positioning system to build a map that notes specific landmarks to make future missions easier. This map is then uploaded to your cloud and can be shared with other drones that might be running the same mission. This gives your Skydio a long-term memory, so to speak, so that it can deliver more accurate flights that are down to a 10 to 20 centimeter difference. This is far more accurate than VIO or visual inertial odometry that can potentially drift between one to 5% of your distance traveled. This is when the drones onboard navigation cameras would use local features to estimate motion. To demonstrate just how accurate Skydio's drones are between flights, there are two specific examples that I want to share. The first is an outdoor flight on this small construction project. Running the same repeatable mission on a 30 minute interval, the drone was able to deploy from the dock autonomously, capture all of the images that it was told to on its flight path, and then land to recharge. Each image captured between flights is taken from the same exact spot with little deviation, and this goes for the video too, allowing you to create some pretty cool time lapses over the course of your project. The next example, in my opinion, is by far even more more impressive, it's from an indoor flight in this tight little corner of a clock. Just like the exterior mission, photos were taken every 30 minutes over a 24 hour period and the drone was able to maintain a similar position between each flight. This level of accuracy will ultimately make the drone more safe for any flight, both indoors and out, but it will also give you better results. Your photos and videos will be the same each time and won't deviate from that spot over the course of multiple flights. Think about this, you could use one of Skydio's drones and their dock to run autonomous missions around a refinery to take photographs of the pressure gauges on site, say every 30 minutes or every hour or maybe every day. I don't know how often you'd wanna do something like that, but you can know with its level of accuracy that it'll properly photograph each and every single pressure gauge every time it's tasked to, rather than say, take a photo that's five or 10 feet off, therefore totally missing that pressure gauge. So overall, I think that Skydio's dock is going to get a lot of use across construction sites, refineries, inside of warehouses, and really anywhere that you can use constant monitoring. I mean, think about it. There's probably more places and industries than not that could benefit from having one of Skydio's drones and their docks on site for running autonomous missions or for being controlled manually from a remote location using Skydio's remote ops software. Through harsh weather, through GPS and night environments, this drone and this dock is gonna be able to provide a great experience that can safely navigate the terrain. And I think what I'm most impressed by is the indoor mission. Seeing this drone take off inside, capture data, deliver it all in a timely fashion. I mean, I just cannot wait to see how these drones and how these docks are used in an efficient and really useful manner. I mean, I've seen these docking stations being used for years now, but I think that this is the first implementation that's actually going to make a difference and actually be useful for the industry. I also got a chance to sit down with Adam Bree himself, the CEO of Skydio, to discuss the dock a little bit more in depth. And it's really interesting to hear his takes on this new system. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel here in the next couple of days for that video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Skydio's doc down in the comment section below. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.